Hello everyone, in today's video I just thought I'd share a really quick tip if uh, you run into situations where you have these scenarios that as the scenario progressively gets longer and longer, the scenario starts to slow down. Uh, we found out fairly recently that the big reason why this occurs is this lovely new message log that we love to play with and it does all these great little features here will actually start to accumulate so many events that it actually basically slows everything down. Now I'm sure at some point they're probably going to clean this up a tiny bit, but for now we're just going to go ahead and take a look at a quick way that we can get around this. So the way we do this is we're basically going to take this message log and we're going to pop it into a separate window. So there's a couple different ways to do that. Uh, the simplest one, if you go up to your game options and you pop over to general, you're going to see this thing that says message log in separate window, or you can press the combination control shift M, control shift M. So that does not work. Uh oh, don't worry about it though, because you can always click on that little checkbox instead to make sure it goes ahead and works instead. So now that we have it in a separate window, we can feel free to go pop it over here. We can stick it over here, we put it over here, we can make it bigger, bigger, make it bigger, smaller. Now the great thing about this is now that it's in a separate window, if we want to reduce the amount of lag it creates in these mega scenarios, you can just press this button right here. And what it does is it switches into the old school, you know, command modern air naval operations mode where it puts everything in this little timeline. I actually prefer this method. And one of the cool things is you get this little filter button up here. So if I type in something like red, I can now get all the events that are received underneath red. Now, the fun thing with this one too, is I can do one of these. And now it goes ahead and puts it right back down here. So when you do do that, remember, if you do close that sucker, you have to come back up here, push the button again, switch back to raw text, and I think you'll find that your performance will be considerably better. Usually what I do now is I do one of those, and now I don't have to worry about it. So hopefully this tip helps you out. Like for those longer scenarios, I actually prefer that view to the new one. The new one's great for analysis. This one's a little bit better for kind of, you know, as things kind of unravel. Enjoy.